all your school rugby all in one place. This is Next Gen 50. All right, guys, welcome to Next Gen 15. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at this year's World Under 2015. So if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button as well as bell notification. And as soon as new videos are released, you'll be the first to know. Now, despite the season once again being a stop and start affair, we have used our global network and viewed games that did indeed take place and believe this list is as close as one can get to the best under 20 rugby players in the world. Before we get into our list, if you're a young aspiring rugby player who's looking for a bit more intention in an online profile, head over to our talent hub. Simply go to our website www.nextgenxv.com, click on talent hub and then athlete sign up and we'll have someone get back to you as soon as possible. Now onto the list. At fullback we have Jacob Neekins from New Zealand. A star player while at Francis Douglas Memorial, the same school that gave us other massive talents such as the Barrett brothers, from a young age it was clear that Nipkins was on his way to the top. Almost lost to the NRL where he was offered a massive contract to fly, eventually committed to the Blues in what was a tough three-way tussle. So far he's made 11 appearances for Taranaki in the NPC and has scored 8 tries in the process. We believe big things are awaiting this young talent. On the right wing we have Louis Rees Samet from Wales. When we named Rhys Zammert our number 120 prospect in the world for 2021, there were a few, particularly in the Southern Hemisphere, who had not yet heard of this talent. Fast forward to a few months later and the Walsh Starlet is recognised as probably the best young backline talent in world rugby right now. Rhys Zammert has already made 9 senior appearances for Wales and has an excellent strike rate with 5 tries so far. Domestically he's been a star for Gloucester, scoring 20 tries in only 32 appearances and all this before his 21st birthday. Expect even more from what many feel is the future of Welsh rugby. Moving to outside centre, we have Henko van Vaag from South Africa. Henko van Vaag's career so far has been full of promise. A player who has exceeded all the high expectations thrust upon him by an expected rugby mad nation, yet not been rewarded with a senior start, which to us is still a head scratcher. There are those who point to his size as an issue. We find this laughable and think perhaps South Africa's size obsession should be relooked, particularly when one sees some of the low level skills on display within some of their rugby teams. Van Veek has the best running lines and spatial awareness for his age group. He's the type of player that would give his wings acres of space to play with and even in situations where it seems there's no possibility to find a gap, somehow Henko always finds it. We have no idea what the youngster still needs to do to be given a chance at a high level, but one feels his development will certainly be hindered by not being afforded the opportunities he so obviously deserves. Partnering Henko van Veek at Inside Centre, we have Gideon Rampling from New Zealand. Now our outside centre would need the size, handling skills and rugby IQ to complement Henko on his outside and Gideon Ramplin certainly ticks all the boxes. Standing at 6 feet 2 inches and weighing 102 kilograms, Ramplin is a physical specimen who easily crosses that vantage line and offers a reliant defender to boot. His versatility is his key asset, equally capable as a wing or fullback, Rampling is a powerful and elusive runner and so far has been a revelation for Waikato in the NPC competition, despite not yet celebrating his 21st birthday. On the left wing we have Nelson Epi from France. With France being the dominant team in terms of youth rugby over the last few years with two under 20 World Cup wins on the trot, much expectation was put on the team for this year's under 26 nations. Unfortunately, this year will not be fondly remembered by the French, but when it comes to talent, Nelson Epi is likely one of the most devastating players to come out of France in recent memory. A speedster who must surely rank among the quickest backs in junior world rugby right now, Epi is highly rated by none other than Cheslin Colby, who referred to the young back as a dynamic talent and one who will become a household name in the near future. Seven tries in only six appearances for his academy side and a further four in the under 26 nations including a 20 minute hat-trick against winners England showcased his pedigree and we are confident he'll take the club scene in France by storm in the very near future. At Flaaf we have Finn Smith from England. Finn Smith is one of the brightest talents in English rugby and was a key reason why the English dominated this year's six nations. In March of this year, at 18 years and 313 days, he became the youngest ever player to start for the Warriors in the Premiership against Bath. His unquestionable talent led him to be called up to the England under 20 team and helped them to a grand slam starting 4 out of the 5 batches in this year's tournament and scoring 32 points in the tournament as the third leading point scorer. Expect the former Warwick school pupil to continue this fine form into next year where he will be key to England's world title aspirations. At scrum off we have Jack von Poerfleet from England. 
An absolute whirlwind and year it has been for the former Oakham School pupil, being the inspirational leader behind England Six Nations win this year and a player we had named as one of our top 10 under 23 prospects in the world last year. Already an experienced campaigner despite his relatively young age, Van Poorfried has won a total of 22 caps for Leicester despite only recently turning 20 and has two tries to his name thus far. A player making scrum off who leads from the front, expect Van Poorfried to go from strength to strength and make a name for himself in the international scene sooner rather than later. At 8th man we have George Crenier from South Africa. From one captain to another we move on to South African under 20 captain and former Grey College star George Crenier. Cronier has very much been a player that leads through example rather than words. He is a formidable prospect in every sense of the word, being 6 foot 3 inches tall and weighing in at 102 kilograms. Initially offered terms in France, Cronier took the road less travelled and despite all offers from the major South African teams, chose to continue his development at the Cheetahs where he has proved to be a rising star making several appearances for the senior side. With his pedigree, humility and undoubted talent, we expect George is a name that one should take care to remember. At open side flank we have Alex Kendellen from Ireland. With Ireland's back row prospects already looking solid, Alex Kendellen is likely to cause even more selection headaches in the near future. Upon leaving school he is thrust into the Irish under 20 team where he had been arguably their best player and one who has an unbelievable strike rate for a loose forward having scored 6 tries in only 5 appearances. Despite his youth he has already made his Munster debut and is a player that we can see featuring far more in this year's URC. At blindside flank we have Jack Clement from England. Clement has had a meteoric rise through his rugby career. Having only picked up the game at 14 years of age, it was clear to many that he had the talent to go all the way. He was selected for England's under-18 tour to South Africa in 2018 and even though 17 years of age, he was selected for all three games on tour. To show how highly rated Clement is, he was caught up by Eddie Jones to form part of England's training squad in November 2020. Expected to be sooner rather than later, where we'll see Jack make his senior debut. Our first lock is Josh Lord from New Zealand. Josh Lord is an incredibly gifted young athlete and a huge specimen. Despite only being 20 years of age, the youngster is already over 2 metres tall and weighs in at 106 kilograms with room to grow, surely other teams will start taking notice. A product of famed rugby school Hamilton boys, Lord made his debut for Taranaki while still under 18 and has so far appeared 19 times with the team. In 2020 he was called up to the Chiefs for Super Rugby and has so far made a total of 9 appearances. In a surprising move and to further underline his talent, Lord has recently caught up to the All Black senior squad and will certainly be a whirlwind few years should he make his run on debut for his country. Our second lock is Simon Miller from South Africa. Miller is one of the most talked about young players in South Africa and for good reason. Despite not going to a traditional powers rugby school, Simon Miller has long stood out due to his incredible stamina, spirit and rugby IQ. Despite playing Craven Week for the Bulls, he transferred to Western Province after his schooling was done, where he has been a revelation and key player in both the under-21 and under-20 teams. Further to this, he has already become a regular with Varsity Cup powerhouse Martys. After a series of spectacular performances for South Africa under-20 during the international series, it is clear that Miller is a player whose stock is on the rise, and we hear there are high expectations for him moving forward. At Tate Prop, we have Zane Nongo from Australia. Nongo is known as Baby Thor and for good reason. The former Southport schools youngster was a devastating player at GPS level and his transition from the school game to the senior game was seamless. Standing at 6 feet and 2 inches tall while weighing 130 kilograms shows the sheer size of this young giant and to think he still has room to grow is truly a terrifying prospect. Despite only being 20 years of age, he has already made 7 Super Rugby appearances for the Reds and many believe it is just a matter of time before he's called up to the senior Wallabies team. At hooker, we have Andre Hugo Fenter from South Africa. Fenter has been nothing short of a revelation this year. Since leaving school, the Grey College youngster has had a meteoric rise in the game, having made senior appearances for the Stormers and Western Province. The son of Springbok legend Andre Fenter, Andre Hugo showed immense ability at school and was rewarded with his SA school's colours, and one feels that should he continue on his current path, he may very well follow in his famous father's footsteps. At Lucet Prop, we have Finn Baxter from England. Finn Baxter is no doubt a future star of not only English rugby but world rugby. Having named him in our World Schools 15 in 2020 as a tight head, Finn showcased his versatility by being the premier Lucet Prop in England's dominant under 26 Nations win. The former Wellington College youngster's talent was evident at school level where he was one of the most powerful scrummages in the country and he did not stop at school level making a seamless transition into senior rugby. Many believe it is not a case of if, but rather when, Finn Baxter will make his senior international presence felt. Once again, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. 
Do you agree with our selections? Let us know who you prefer to see in the positions, what you agreed with, what you disagreed with. Just let us know in the comment section down below. And as always, have a fantastic week further. Cheers. Bye.